instructing you guys kind of got a grueling uh, work into the conference schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of response are you looking for in your guys this weekend? Um, you know, just a, a belief. I, I think um, when you look back on the game and watch the film of it, there's certainly a lot of things that we could have done better. Now, Crookston certainly had a lot to do with um, you know, our struggles, but we also had a lot to do with our struggles. And um, I think there's a lot of correctable things that we can get better at. Um, you know, um, I do think, like I said before, I do think Crookston's made significant gains um, with the addition of Hodge and, and um, some of the things that they're doing a little bit differently. But um, we need to continue to grow, um, be more consistent. You know, it, it was one of those things where, you know, in the first half, we, um, we were one of ten from three, and I, I think we missed seven layups in that span too. And uh, you know, obviously we've got to be better. We've got to be better for for a full full 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Kyle uh, is a guy who's you know finally been able to play again, and he's still finding his footing a little bit. But mm -hmm. uh, just how much of an asset is he to this team, and how much of a weapon can he really be if he if he turns around? Yeah, I think he's got loads of potential. Um, he's getting better, um, so uh, I think he's. Uh, seeing what he can get done on the court. You know, we're asking him to do, you know, some of the things that have been best done for us in the past. And, um, but Kyle's a little bit different. He may not be, you know, quite as good at quick finishing around the hoop as, as Ben was, but Kyle's a pretty darn good shooter from the perimeter. But he's getting better. We're seeing, I saw him practice today, this morning. I saw him, uh, you know, rolling in there and asking for the ball and having some quick finishes inside. and, and um, but yeah, I mean, you're right. He hasn't played in two and a half, three years, you know, and uh, so he's got to figure out, you know, what he can do and who, who, who is he? You know, he's got to have some kind of, um, you know, um, doubts of what he can accomplish himself not playing for so long. And you know, the last time he played, I think it was in the state tournament, you know, high school uh, a couple, two and a half years ago. So he's still finding his way. I think he's got a lot, uh, lot to uh, improve on still. Um, but yeah, I mean, theoretically a freshman. So, um. uh, so now you guys are getting back to your regular routine of Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. So how important is it to come out this weekend and set the tone and uh, be playing at the level that you guys are set up to play night in? Night yeah, I mean, it's very important that, um, you know, I think Sharif said it, you know, last week how, how difficult it is to come out here and play at a high level every time you step on the court. And, but uh, our guys need to get focused beforehand. Um, we need to respect every opponent that we play. And uh, we got to understand that we need to play really hard and really well to come out, uh, to come out on top against anybody. So, um, you know, hopefully that's the focus we'll take, and you know, we'll respond from a from a bad loss. Finally healthy, you're finally playing. What's it been like? You've had a couple weeks now. What's it been like to be back out on the court, and be competing with the guys again? It's a great feeling. You know, I came here to play basketball, so you know, obviously you want to be out on the court. Mm -hmm. uh, you got kind of a rude awakening. Uh, we just got to stay together, you know, if we stay together in a, as a team and keep working hard, the pieces will fall, I think. Um, and then going into this weekend, then, what kind of, um, how, how do you guys need to go in to kind of set the tone and, and um, really set out to do what you want to do? How do you, or just what's it going to take to you know, get, get off on the right foot? Uh, just bring the same energy that we need, you know, we've been working hard all week in practice so far, you know, we're trying to bounce back on it tough game last Friday, Saturday, whichever one it was. Uh, so we just need to bring energy and come out as a team. Great. And, uh, has there been a particular focus in practice this weekend, or this, this week, I guess, uh, that's really been the focus and saying, hey, we need to get better at this? Uh, mostly just get back to playing our game. I felt like Crookston dictated the game mostly when we were playing them. So just get back to playing Beaver basketball. Sure. And then uh, if you guys do that, what's that going to look like this weekend? How will it show on the court? Uh, hopefully in a win. Hopefully it shows a win. Uh, should be a lot of team ball, a lot of moving the ball, a lot of guys scoring, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and um, a lot of guys scoring, like you said. How much better are you guys when there's not just one, two guys scoring, but the balance is over there? Uh, it just keeps everybody in the game. You know, if one guy's standing in the corner all game not doing anything, it's tougher for him to play defense, and it's tough on him mentally. So when the ball's moving, everybody's going, it's easy to bring energy.